Alright, welcome back to uh, what we now call Video Bros, and we are playing Paper Mario. Part 3. Yeah! Here we go. Uh, I remember the hammer's over here. So, uh, yes, I didn't tell you this, but there was a lady yesterday at my job that accused me of being racist. Oh, really? Do tell. Fine, I'll tell on you. No, I, no, do tell. <laughs> do tell the story. Um, alright, so you know how usually I ask people, are you together or separate, if there's no person behind them, and I'm not sure, and I just ask them? If you're not sure about anything in life, just ask questions. Well, yes. I asked her, and the lady behind her was black as well as she was, and, uh, she said, Right, cause all black people are together. What a fucking stupid question. And then, I'm just like, No, that's not why I asked you. It doesn't matter what race you are, I'm still gonna ask you that, even if you were white. I'm like, It's my job to ask you that, because most people don't tell me until the last second. Right when I give them their fucking BJ's card and their seat back. Then they'll be like, they'll be like, oh, this is on another separate order? So, and then I'm like, why didn't you tell me that? Well, most people won't fucking tell me that. So, that's why I asked her, and then I told her that. And she got all pissed off at me. And then she didn't say anything to me after that. She just gave me the $10 for the cold cuts she was buying. And then the black lady after her that I rolled up, um, I, I talked to her and I'm just like, what the hell is all that about? And she's just like, I don't know, but that was stupid. She even knew that was stupid because it had nothing to do with what race you are. I told her right, that lady afterwards, I'm like, I would still ask her that question if she was a white person. No matter what race you are, it's a matter of not knowing. That's what matters. Dude, she's just ignorant, she don't know better. She thinks because she's black that she's gonna get discriminated on. No, she, she tri she, Dude, she, what she did was she tried to pull the race card. Dude, just hate the race, not the individual. Simple as that. Don't you mean the other way around? No, you hate the race, not the individual. Meaning, you hate, if you hate black people, you hate black people. You don't hate the, the, what, that one black person that's your friend. She wasn't my friend. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying don't hate, hate the race, not the individual. I'm not hating them, just, I think she's stupid for saying that. She's trying to make me look like a fucking racist. Meanwhile, I have two black supervisors. They, yes, they're sassy, by the way. Sorry if you can hear this on the eating chips right now. Delicious. Hey, we're enjoying delicious Tostitos. Tostitos. Original Tostitos. restaurant style. Alright, so now I'm fighting Junior Troopa. A who's party the with boss of Queso is muy bueno. I'm, we're fighting Junior Troopa, and he's the boss of the neighborhood gang. Every time you see him, he thinks he's a shit, and he tries to pick a fight with you. And strangely, if you tat on him with Goomberio, he tells you that his, his hobbies include working out and ordering stuff by mail. I mean, those are just normal hobbies, I guess. Strange for an asshole. Alright, so this is where he actually starts doing more damage. I'm gonna hammer on this one. Oh, and I didn't tell you this last week, I was waiting to tell you. The series finale of Dexter. Like, comment, and subscribe if you completely agree with me. It was fucking terrible. I'm just gonna say that. What happened? Uh, the, ep the second to last episode, the killer that they were trying on whole season, Oliver Saxton, aka Daniel Vogel, he, uh, he fucking shot Deb after tricking this cop into freeing him by pretending to be a hostage and he just stabs him, and then Deb sees him after he stabs the cop, and then she and him are in a gun battle, and she gets shot to the ground, and she's like wounded and calls for an ambulance. And then the episode like ends a little bit after that, making you think she died, but she didn't. Yet. What? She was in the hospital in the next episode, and then after having surgery, they make you think she's gonna be okay at first, and then afterwards they find out she get, there's bad news. She did die. Uh, no. But uh, she had serious, like a blood clot or something after the surgery, 
So, because of that, they had to hook her up to a bunch of tubes and stuff, and like, like feeding tubes and stuff like that, and she breathing tubes. And that was like the only way she was gonna be able to like, get out of that alive. And Deb didn't want- Dexter didn't want to see her suffer before leaving to Miami. So, he made the decision to not let her suffer, and he unhooked the tubes from her and killed her by doing that. That's fucked up. But then, I felt terrible at first, because I was upset that Deb died. Then, the show completely makes me and Anthony laugh our asses off because of how ridiculous the situation was. They made it try to make- they, like, expect anybody to take this seriously. Listen to what happened, Jeff. And audience, if you didn't see Dexter. Um... Dexter takes Deb's dead body, and he wheels her out of the hospital on a gurney, and no nurses or doctors or anyone say anything to him. He just wheels her out like nothing happened, and no one says anything to him. It's fucking ridiculous. It's like, oh, no one's gonna stop that guy wheeling out that, uh, dead body? That's fucking retarded. Yeah. And then he puts her- he goes and takes her dead body from to his boat, and then he dumps her out into his, the harbor. Like what he does with his victims, he did that with her. And then he drove into the eye of the storm, because there was like a huge hurricane going on. That was like canceling flights and stuff because of how dangerous it was. And he like fakes his own death by making you think he committed suicide and everybody thinks he's dead. And then you see him in Alaska, I think it was, with a full grown beard and he of course survived. It's just he faked his death because he wanted everyone to think he's dead. And uh, then you just see his face and the show ends. It was the biggest middle finger to everybody who watched it. And the other day I was looking up something about with my uh, 3DS, my new one, with uh, something about how to like change your personal me. So that way I have a different me for swap note. And and because I hated the one I had for my last 3DS, the one I gave uh, my brother. Uh huh. And uh, there was a unreal irrelevant side page on the page saying like a topic saying that something like 2.8 million people around the world fell asleep watching the finale of Dexter. That's fucked up. <laughs> and I just <laughs> left because I was not surprised at all because of just how fucking terrible it was. Seriously though, that show, like, I, I get that they made Dexter, like, they were trying to make the season like Dexter's losing his urge to kill, but... It was just terrible. That, that was like the most boring season ever, and th that they did not try anything to with that season to make it a good last season. Not like with Breaking Bad, where the whole season, let alone no, Breaking Bad is one of the best shows I've ever seen. But no, it, you're wrong. It is the best show ever. You don't know that. I've seen one of the best shows. They even are aware of that. I I guess I'll uh I'll give her a doll back. You won't. No, I I said they will. And look, she thanks you. She gives you a star piece. Look. She gives you a little star piece. A piece of a star. That's like one of the symbols from the Sims. And she kisses you. Ew, I don't want a potato kiss me. Mark got, well, Mario got, I almost actually said Mark. Mario got some uh, young pussy there. You know I've always noticed these, that these Goombas, they look like potatoes with feet. No, I always thought that they just like look like mushrooms. I think that's what they're supposed to be, but they're alive. Oh, apparently. And they can talk, and they can rock. If you ever, if any of you know, or if you don't know, Brandon, that the actual story behind the Mario Brothers, the whole, the whole entire series, every game that's ever been made, the whole story behind it is that Bowser had magic powers. Look, they're rapping with, with yeah. Mario. Yeah. Um, Bowser had magic Mario. powers, and apparently he turned. Or all of the, what do you call it, Mushroom Kingdom, to what, it, what, what it is today. What? Meaning, meaning, like, all the Goombas. So that explains the appearance of Goombas and Koopas and everyone else? Yeah, like, turtles are turtles. Did they explain And that then, like, that's how, that's, how they have, that's how they have, like, real personalities in life. And how they fly and shit like that now. Does that have to do with Sniffits, too? What are those? They're like Shy Guys, but they have bullets and they shoot them at you. Hey, it's Anthony. Oh, it's my brother just watching him. I actually, 3DS, I don't, but I have it for normal DS. Uh, Mario, you're thinking of yeah. Mario Kart 7. Let I don't have over. a one. Let me take over. I'll help him. I only have normal Mario Kart. That's all we have. No, I, I have it. I don't have the case for it. It's in my Mario case. Alright. Yeah, 
with less than all this. Okay, I have to go up this whole lesson. I don't want to do it. Dude, you have to. You already said yes. Go to badges. I know. A. A. I'm just doing everything it says. Alright, back up. Yeah, it's teaching you how to select and deselect badges. And it becomes very useful in the game because you're going to be doing that a lot. So get used to it. Right. So I'm not used to using Nintendo to control controller. Because you're more of a Sony person. I'm the Nintendo Well, I've never owned a Nintendo 64 in my life. I'm the Nintendo geek here. Well, Sony isn't Sony isn't a bad console. I'm not saying they're they're not a bad company. I'm just I, I grew up more with Nintendo. Though I I did get a PS2 in middle no, school no, no. and I still have it. I yeah. Mean, but I, I mean I, 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 I love I love my fair share I wasn't, of Nintendo too. I didn't though. play as much Sony games as I did in Nintendo or any other um, like uh, company made stuff for Nintendo consoles though. That's all I'm saying. I mean I, I grew look, up I mean, look. My first console ever Cooper was. Cooperio joined your party. My first console ever was in Every time you get a new party member, there's a painting and there's instructions teaching you how what they can do to help you. So for Goomba Rio, they teach you that he can tattle on enemies during battle, which gets information on them, so you know their weaknesses and like what they are and how much help they have. Yeah, that's that's their little Goomba strut. That's their little Goomba strut. Look at him. I just pictured the weirdest thing. <laughs> if all those Goombas had arms. That, that, no, that would be really weird. I, I couldn't imagine that. I'd be like, get the fuck over here. Yeah. Alright, so now Goombarillo joined you. Cool. Uh, hand it over. Uh, yeah. Hand it over. Fine. Because, uh... You have to go save over here. Yeah. Go save over here, and then, and then we'll end it. No, no. 12 minutes already. Skill to the 15th. No, we'll just save it for now. We'll, I don't feel like... Alright, so now I broke the block. I have to edit all this. I don't feel like doing it for that long. Yeah, what you mean, Lee? Because I know how to edit it, too. Well, not as much. I mean, I get it done. I, I know. Better. I, 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 I know. Alright, um, I guess on the next episode, we'll, like, discuss about, like, uh, the other thing I want to say. Uh, not, okay. not on paper. Uh, next time on Game Bros. Uh, no, it's on, on the next episode. The next episode of Vita Bros. Video Bros. Video Bros.